Hello everyone and welcome to the Revit Academy and uh, today's session is going to be on how to create a beam system in Revit as you can see I've already created one but I will demonstrate again how I did that so let's go into level 1 I'm just going to create a set of four walls Another another set of walls just to demonstrate again. So prior to setting up your beam system, you wanna load in. You wanna load in the required beam that you need. So if you go into the structural framing, and uh, you can load in steel, different kind of beam system, but I'm gonna just keep it simple. It's and choose a uh, timber but you can choose whichever one you want let's go with timber as soon as you open it you get an option of choosing the sizes but don't don't worry about if you can't get the required size that you need because you can edit the size to your requirements in the in the settings by clicking on edit type I will demonstrate that as well I've already loaded one in so I'll just crack on with it so click on the beam system let's make sure it snaps on the corners this this direction line beam direction line you can change this by clicking on the clicking on beam directions and just choosing clicking on the line whichever one you want you can draw it as well this way you can draw it that way well I'm gonna stick to just clicking on the line as it was before so the beam the beam that you load into your family from your families it gets automatically loaded into the beam type so I loaded in the beam the timber beam 140 by 184 so I'll use that and when you click OK so this is what you get so so you can either have fixed distance, you can have a fixed number of beams, you can have maximum spacing or clear spans. Let's stick with fixed distance, so I can change that to like 600 centers. Or you can change that to 400 centers. It's up to you. It automatically, it automatically sets everything out to 600 centers. And you can change you can change the beam as well to whatever size you want. So I've already adjusted mine to of uh, how to create an additional beam, which was a different size, which is like hundred mil thickness. So you can change that as you wish. You can change it to a steel beam if you want. It's quite flexible when it comes to changing and adjusting. So now I'm going to show you how to create an opening with the staircase. Go back into... into the 3d oops that came in the wrong place sorry about that should have been on level zero well 
one second yep that's it so let's create the opening Flip the line, trim the line, and there we have it. Now you've got an opening within the beam system. I just want to get rid of these railings. Now I want to put I want to put trim joist so around the staircase and around the end of the beams so if we're going to level one click on the beam I've already created one here so we can just Align that. It's not necessary. You you have to do. It. You can change things in three D as well. It's absolutely fine. Create similar. Oops. Just. Uh, Pick a level. I have to adjust the view range. I think. Sorry, one second. Level one. Align that with this beam here.
there we go now we can see the beams There we go. So that's how you create a beam system. Obviously not every project is going to be as straightforward as this one but you can adjust, you can just you can adjust the beam system to suit your design most, most of the time mostly it's the structural engineers will be doing the beam system anyway so but i mean sometimes if you want to if you want to learn how to use this it can be a useful tool in your residential projects maybe you want to do it yourself so there you go so you created a beam system you created a staircase you create i've created and shown you how to create an opening and also put in a staircase to demonstrate that it actually works and it can work so when it comes to when it comes to showing the beams you, you just gotta adjust your view range just to make it which will then allow you to see the beams so I hope this was a I hope this was a helpful and uh, you learned something and uh, yeah so stay tuned for more videos are gonna be coming soon and please comment and like the channel like the video sorry and subscribe as well thank you very much